Good morning, Michelle Crafty Servings. And Cash, Cash is so excited this morning. Come say hi, let me know you're out there. Uh, we will check in just a moment to see if my video or my audio is working. Let's check that out. Come say hi, I'm early today. Let's see if we're on here. Yeah, do you see Cash? Yep. There we go. Y'all doing good? It's early, early. You have Michelle as an early morning person. Nine o'clock. I'm I'm always up early otherwise, or most always. I usually work a lot earlier. When I go to work, it's a lot earlier than this that I'm producing. But trying to adjust my lights. We are making cash. You want to come say hi? I'm sorry. I was ignoring you. He walked away. Cash, come here. Cash, come here. <laughs> he got bullied because I wasn't paying attention. You want to say hi? You want to say hi? You going to sit pretty? You going to sit pretty? Yeah. Yeah. Sit pretty. Yeah. If he's on his haunches, though, he'd be up to here on me. And actually, his head is over me. So he's, he's a big dog, but you can't really do that without me holding you, right? You can't do that. Hello, hello. Hi, Carla and Linda and Kathy. Yeah, yeah, you're such a good boy. You're such a good boy. So, all right. Are you done? No? All right. So we are making the cutest snowman ornament with just a few supplies supplies you might have otherwise i'm going to tell you how you can mix it up to make to make it anyhow all right you may not have exactly what i have but you might and if you don't i'll tell you how you can do it you're just going to stare at them now are you just going to stare at them now yeah hello kathy and another kathy my three kathy's no i have yeah, three Cathy's on here right now. Two Cathy's. So, phew. It didn't actually take me much to get ready this morning either. And this is my supplies. I do have a couple things over here, but I don't know that we're going to need them. We'll see. We'll see. All right. I have to roll my chair, and I don't want to roll on your, on your toes there. All right. Are you going to go lay down now? Or are you just going to sit there? Good morning, Cindy. So go get your coffee. I just poured my coffee. A butter pecan coffee with French vanilla creamer. Yum. Hello, hello. Hello, Cindy. And Vicky, hello. Like I said, this is this is going to be really, really cute. It's not going to take long. I always say that. Put my sleeves up. I always say that, and and it does take long, but this won't. Okay, I just really have to move my chair up here, honey. Hello, Tesh. How are you? You guys, if you have not seen Tesh before, she is a crafter that I just love, love, love. She does things that I don't think of, of course, <laughs> but she is just so what I love. She's so what I love. Everything she makes, it's the rustic, it can be primitive. Um, she's so funny. You guys check out Tash. Tash, it, um, I don't know if that's your link. You, you can definitely put your link or come on as your page either way. Please do that. Hello, CC. Anybody always is welcome to come on as their link or as their page. Okay, I'm going to get going right away because I said it's not going to take long. I'm hoping to come on for a second live today too. Oh, anytime, Tash. I enjoy watching you. I just enjoy. She has the funniest sense of humor too. So, all right. <clears throat> you hear it in my voice too that I haven't really talked today yet at all other than to Cash. I did to my husband. He had to go for an appointment. So, all right. These are my supplies. So I'm going to show you 
what we're going to be using. So I got these felt balls. It was a garland last year. I just taken two of them out. It was a garland last year that I got. And I don't remember if it was Home Goods or Walmart. And it would have been on clearance when I got it, okay? But if you don't have felt ball, you can make your own. Remember I did felting on here and it was sort of funny because it, it was like I did the Pinterest fail thing because my rabbit turned out nothing like the rabbit that I saw. But um, I could do a ball of felting, so you could do that. Or you, you could use pom-poms. I just think this is gonna be cuter and uh, like more rustic. Um, and you can make them even more rustic if you want. So yeah, go ahead and make your own felt balls or go ahead and um, use pom-poms. You could use styrofoam balls, honestly, and paint them. Like, okay, I'm gonna show you because this could be something as a decoration later on. But you see these balls on the bottom of here? Those are white snowballs, like a big bag that I bought. They're like styrofoam balls and they have all the little texture on them. All I did was take the same color paint I did on here and put it on those balls. You could do something like that, only bigger styrofoam and paint them. Okay, so that's another idea how you can do. Hello, pa uh, hello Paula. You had hoarseness for two weeks. Oh gosh. I get that in the morning. I, it's in the morning. I need my coffee. <laughs> Yeah, Kathy, definitely check out Tash. If you have not checked her out before, check her out. You all will love her. Hello, hello. All right, so all we need are two of them. And this, we're not even decorating the snowman much. I did decide, oh, do I have it on here? I did decide we're using, um, we're, we're going to put a nose on them. Oh, gosh. I had the perfect nose. Maybe I may find it yet. I had the perfect nose. I'll have to. You know what the nose was? You all know what my nose was. And it was perfect. Okay, now I can move my chair a little. It was perfect. Oh, are you stuck on my raffia? I'm sorry, buddy. Come here. He was stuck on a piece of raffia. It was wrapped around his leg. I'm sorry. Okay. I had the perfect button for the nose. I'm gonna have to find another one. God darn it. Oh, that'll be fun, Kathy. All right, so let me show you what I have. So I have these two felt balls. I have, and now look at this, I, pun I punched it with so this is an eighth inch this is mdf circle these are cutouts from some of my um kits that i make wood kits that i um put out in my etsy shop you can use cardboard you can use a felt circle you don't have to have wood um if you do have something like this i just use my crop crocodile and it punches a hole Let's see, you got a hole. It doesn't have to be centered. Okay, so we got one of them. And we're not even going to paint. We're not painting. I have a cork. I already cut it in half. I just used a scissor to cut it in half. You can see I had it on here. Okay, cut a, a half a cork. Bells. Oh, and I have, so I have a little piece of homespun fabric. And I have these Dollar Tree bells. No, they're not Dollar Tree. These you can get Dollar Tree bells. Use Dollar Tree bells, but these are from um, Hobby Lobby, okay? Because they say three ninety nine on them. And let me show you what I did. I'm not going to do it on here. Um, I could. I, I could. I don't have a um, fork next to me. I used a fork. You can use a tweezer or whatever. Let's see how bright and shiny these are. I don't like that. You can do. Um, you can do your cinnamon on there, the Mod Podge and cinnamon. I didn't want to get the cinnamon on here. That's why I decided not to do that. You could paint them. You could get rusty um, bells. You can leave them bright gold. But look at what I did. So can you see, see these same bells? All I did, let me get one. Let me, let me show you the difference. I love how these turned out. Now you want to do this in in a place where you have a little bit of air. I did it in my kitchen. <laughs> There's air there, right? I breathe. 
Um, and I just, I just used a fork. You can use a tweezer, but you have to be careful because even the fork gets really, really hot. You don't want to burn yourself. But what I did, I'll just, I'll just show, you, I'll show you. Okay, my little lighter. So this is, look at how bright and shiny that is. I'll just do it on the edge so I don't get my scissor too. Look at that. That's what I wanted. They look sort of like an older bronze kind of, kind of color. Okay, so that's, that's what I did. But they get really hot. You have to be careful. Don't touch them. Don't lace. I used a fork. The fork even got hot, like the end. But isn't that really cool? So are you all there yet? I think I'm, I'm stuck on here. Nobody's commenting. What's up? Are y'all sleeping? I'm here early today and you guys aren't commenting. So anyhow, that's, that's my little tip on those bells. So like I said, I didn't want to get any kind of cinnamon on here, but you certainly can. All right. Then the other thing I'm using is this, this is a thicker string. Um, it, I think it's like a, um, an embroidery kind of, I don't know, what do you call it? Or a darning, maybe a darning floss. You could use embroidery floss. I wouldn't recommend just regular string from a spool of thread because I think that probably maybe would break or at least it'll break over, over a little bit of time. Um, you could also just use glue. I'm using the string. Um, you could, but I'll tell you when I'm putting it together, what else you could use. You could use those little eyelets that you turn in and add the string on for that. So, so that you didn't have to painfully watch me thread this needle. I already did that because this is like a darning needle. It's a little bit thicker eye on it, but it's still a little bit to get it through. Still a little bit. So I didn't want y'all to see that. Yeah, isn't that awesome, Maureen? It, I love, I just thought I'd try it, you know, and that's all you can do is experiment with things, right? I didn't like the shiny finish. I thought I would just try it. You experiment. That's that's all you can do. All right, and just any lighter, any lighter. But again, it gets hot. Be careful. Be very careful. All right. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm not painting either. I'm loving this color combination. That doesn't belong here. I just am really mad because I lost my button that I wanted for the nose, and it was like a perfect button. I'm gonna have to grab my little buttons. It was perfect. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just start at the top. And it doesn't have to be perfectly centered. Now, I already put it through once, but put it through. And then I have a pliers here. That's, you pull the rest out. This is just so cute. Oh, I see your comments now, Kathy. I am seeing some now. I wasn't seeing them for a long time. I don't know what was up with that. Okay, so I'm going to pull them far enough, but let me just, I'm going to tie a knot on here. This will be the top. This is the top of the ornament. And you certainly, okay, if you don't do the string thing and you do glue, get those little rounded, um, they're an eyelet screw, I think. It's got that little, little round eye thing at the top and screw it in and then add a string on. But, this works perfectly fine. All right, and I'm just gonna tighten that up. All right, next, because this has some design on it, I don't want that on top. We're just gonna put it down through here. It doesn't matter if, you know, this, honestly, this, I don't know. You could have poked a hole with something and put it through too. I just do it like that. Isn't that the cutest hat? Paint it black if you don't like it this color. Good morning, Vicki. All right, next we need the head. Now felted balls are a little bit harder to get through, but these felted balls had the holes in from the garland. I can't find that hole again. I'm just gonna push down on here and try and get it to center. Just keep pulling it out and center it some. If you can't get a grip on it, pull it like that. This is so fast, it's so fast. Aren't you loving them already? Yeah. 
You know what? I want the funny part of the hat up. Just wait. I'm just going to do, I'm going to do this again. We're just going to clip off that. I'm going to pull this out because I, this is the cut part. I want that on top. I want that a little more rustic. Okay. So that's going to be my top. Sorry, y'all. But if you don't like that, you know, then um, do, it the, do it the way you want. Or you can glue. Again, you can definitely do gluing on this. All right, let's just try this again. Damn, I really think he's going to be cute too. I know, just, just these colors. These colors are so me. And you could grunge it up with cinnamon and stuff like that on those um, bells. You could certainly do cinnamon um, and then put a little cinnamon on the snowman too. Do whatever you like. All right, so now that's the top. I like that on the top. All right, now I'm going to put... Let's see. Nope. I want the design down. Like I said, if you do not have a little piece of round wood, you know, you can buy them in the wood pile section too, bags. Um of different shapes, then just use uh, felt or use cardboard. Works perfectly fine. All right, now we're gonna add this on again. See where it's going? Let's put it. All right, the centering of this one is a little harder and I, I don't know if to pull it out. There, I can see where it's starting to bulge. I want to make sure it's in the center, but when I get to that point, I may not be able to pull it back out. So I may have to cut the string again. All good. All good. Look at him already. Is he not the cutest snowman already? So fast and easy. We are almost done here. All right, I'm just going to string some of these bells on here. We'll just use three bells. I have another one colored up, but three bells will be good. Now, I'm just going to tie a knot so that they don't come off. Isn't it cute? I had you at Snowman, Ashton. I know. I'm a snowman lover, too. All right, so we're going to tie, tie a knot in this. I think I've got to double it because otherwise it, that bell might come off of there. But let's just, let's just do one more, one more knot. Like I said, if you don't, now if you don't want to do the string and you're doing glue, look at that. Um, then get those eyelets also. You could glue a little eyelet in there and hang a piece of string from that eyelet and do the same thing. I mean, you can certainly do this with glue. And then we're just going to cut that off. Look at, look at him. Simple little decoration. Simple little. I'm not even going to be on here long with y'all. All right. So I've just got a piece of home uh, um, homespun fabric. Love it. Always love homespun fabric, especially this color is one of my favorites. We are going to, okay, I'm going to see which is my cute, cute side. What's my cute side today? Oh, package toppers would be perfect. Now, if you want to watch replays, I will be putting this out on my YouTube channel later. Okay. I'll just download this and put it out there. So much easier to find it on there. <laughs> just, just cute. All right. He could be done. He honestly could be done. All right. But I have to, I am so mad. I had the perfect button and now, now I got to get up and grab the button. 
I'll give you ideas too. So if you don't want to use this as an ornament, again, you can glue it and everything. Get these wood rounds. Don't put the bells on. Put the bells on in the front, you know, or make them sitting. You could do um, jute and string the bells on or beads and have them sitting on here. Oh my gosh, I have to do one of them too. Just have them sitting and then put some of these snowballs and some of these greens on here. Oh my, I have to do that too. All right, I want to see where my good side is that it's going to shrink. Okay, now, so that's another idea. Use it as a shelf sitter. It would be super, super cute. Like I said, do beads for the legs and just do, again, you could um, do uh, one of those eyelets in there or you can tie a piece of string so that you have a knot and then take a stick pin and stick that in the bottom and that'll stay on there too. Okay, you could do that. All right. Now, I will see if I'm going to put a little green on the hat. I don't think I have to. I really don't think I have to. Okay, I had like the perfect button and all these little tiny buttons go to the bottom. So I want a little nose button. I don't think that one was little enough. We're, we're just going to be digging down to the bottom here, see if I can peek at a little tiny nose. I had it. I had it, peeps. That one might be, that one might work. Don't let me lose it, don't let me lose it. Oh, that one is sort of cute. That's not the one I saw though. You just want the tiniest little, little button nose. That one could be cute too. I lost it. I lost. Do you know when you have an obsession with buttons, especially of this one kind? Um, how many buttons end up in your little little kit? Okay, I think I'm gonna be okay with what I have out. That would be sort of cute too. Oh, that one might be sort of cute. That one's a little big. Okay, I have a selection here. Make sure you're talking now. I'm going to be doing random act of kindness pretty soon, all right? I send out happy mail. I ask you to do a random act of kindness for someone, all right? So I scroll names. You got you to gotta, you gotta be commenting. Oh, my gosh. You don't even need to do anything else. But you do need a button. So I think I want a little bit lighter colored button. That one's too thick. What do you think of that button? What do you think of that button nose? I know I had even a tinier one. This one would be really cute because of the detail on it, but I think it's a little, it's a little big. It looks like just a button, not a nose. I just gotta look. I had the tiniest, tiniest button and I got it out of here. I see one down here. That one's really thick. Oh, that one's sort of cute. You know, do you know that little ones hide from you? Yeah. Hi, Patricia. Patricia, you can drop your link or come on as you... Oh, a seed bead would work perfectly well, too. You're right. Exactly. Patricia, you can come on as your link, too, or, um, or put your page there. You absolutely can. All right. Um, okay, this is a tiny little button. Look at that. I like the light color, though. So 
Some of these are just so thick, though. All right, we're going to use this one. We're going to use this one. You love buttons. I use buttons on everything, Brenda. If you follow me for a while, the people who know me, it's probably like 98% of the things that I put a button on. And I'm putting mine on without any string in it. Is it, that look like his nose? If not, I can turn the ball around if it doesn't look like his nose. I think it looks like his nose. Isn't that just cute? All right. Um, so you could add... Um, a little bit of... green up on here but it's not really green I don't want green this is just this is I, I have this here all the time I get it from Hobby Lobby it's year round there um I get it whenever it's on sale I love the brown in it um because most of my crafts are like these rustic kind of or or nude colors um put a little feather in his hat too you know this color probably isn't that bad this one is a little curl is that a perfect nose you get yours from the marketplace oh that's a good idea I there's somebody that actually comes on here that is local to me and she has does estate sales um, so when she has estate sales I try and sneak around and see her sometimes but these taupe ones I get, they used to have them at Walmart in jars. And I think they're called coconut buttons or something like that. And I had several, several and they were gone. And then I had some sweet people send me more jars. Because I couldn't get them at mine anymore. Okay, so I could, I mean, just something a little simple like that. Um, The other option is I do have, I don't like that. I do have some of this that almost looks like a sweet Annie. Oh. So I could put a little touch of green on him, but I'm not sure that I want to do that. I don't think I, I don't think that is what I need. Oh, this one is sort of cute though too. You honestly could be done right where I am. Yes, they're felt balls. I got this garland on clearance last year. Take it apart. I got it. It was either Home Goods or Walmart that I got it on clearance. Make your own. Make your own. If you haven't felt it before, making the balls are the easiest thing ever. I guess I haven't done one yet. I tried making, oh, that's sort of cute on there. I tried making, um, see, I'm going to just lift this cork up a little and stick it under see what it looks like. I tried making a rabbit, and I posted the Pinterest fail for my rabbit <laughs> when I felt it. Okay, that's sort of cute. What do you think? Just that little tiny green on there. And it's not an overwhelming green. Turn my hat a little bit more. What do you think of that? Oh, yeah, the green balls could be Christmas tree, too. You know, and there, there's two sizes, though, on this one. It's just two sizes. But... Do you know how many of these you can make? So do you like that green on there? I think I like that green on there. It's 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 not a bright green. It's sort of muted. I love those little bells. I love him. So isn't that simple and easy? Like I said, if you don't want to want to string him together, use glue. It, it would work perfect. Um, the other touch I thought otherwise is, let me just grab one of these. This is just a little piece of this that I got on Timu one time. You can get it at. Um, I 
I mean, you could put, you don't really see that, but you could put that around there. I don't think I want a bowl. I had also a little raffia. I don't like that either. You could give him a bow tie if you want. You could do that, but then I think that makes that look like just a button and not a nose. I still might look for my other button. I like the other one better. But anyhow, um, and you could probably put a little bell. Oh, we could add a little bell up there too. What do you think? Oh, yes. I'm going to add a little bell up there too. You like the green? Yeah. We're going to do this tiny little bell that I already know. If you did not see how I put these bells, how I made it look not shiny, you have to check it out. Oh, that's cute. There. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So simple and cute. Like I said, I'm going to be downloading it, this and getting it out on my etsy shop or not in my etsy shop um out on my youtube channel too it'll be easier for you to find if you want to watch again um but no i think he's just really cute i wonder if these are a little long my scissor that looks a little better so simple cute do them on bags, do them on little, as little shelf sitters, you know, like I said, do beads instead of the bells and you can just string the legs over, have them sitting on there. I'm going to do that. I'm going to, I'm going to do that. Right? Super, super cute. All right. Let's do random act of kindness drawing. All right. You want to get a screenshot? You want to get a close up screenshot of them? All right, let's do random act of kindness drawing. Right. Um, and you gotta be commenting. I can see is watching, is watching, but if you don't make a comment, then, and I'm going back, Carla, you had some hearts there for me. Carla Duncan, private message me your mailing address. I will get you happy mail. You got it? Yeah, they're so easy, Tammy. They're so easy. Like I said, if you don't want to string it together, then you just glue and use a little eyelet to hang the string on. So super cute. All right. I, like I said, I think I'm going to do a little scene with one too and have the legs hanging over. Look at you, you know, those little, um, those little fallen over sexy snowmen, right? Is this like one of those sexy snowmen that fell over? That's sort of perfect. Have, have like some green laying in there. He looks all sexy. That was cute. Yeah, that's the sexy pose. See? <laughs> so anyhow, all right. I'm hoping to get back on this afternoon. I came on so early today. I, I hope it does. Yeah, right? Sexy pose. So... All right. Hope y'all like it. Like I said, it'll go out on my YouTube channel too. So if you want to watch it again, you want to watch in the beginning, um, watch how I did the um, bells, how I made them so that they're not shiny. Um, super easy, super cute. So, all right. Y'all have a good one.